Hello, Vinyl Community. How you doing? It's Bill with the Vinylverse. I'm here to jump on the experimental vinyl tag that Alex over at the channel Motorik247 started um, a little while ago. Uh, this was one that I've been wanting to do. It's great to see so much participation for this vinyl tag, all about experimental music. Um, so Alex came up with eight uh, prompts that we need to answer and I'm going to go through them here. Um, it's been wonderful seeing all the responses and um, some of my most favorite channels have been uh, participating in this so that's been great to see. Um, one of the great things about this vinyl tag is there's so much variety uh, that, that comes with this. Um, from what I've seen, I'm not sure I've seen anyone show a duplicate item. So um, I haven't watched them all, but I've watched a bunch. So I'm gonna get started here, uh, starting with the first prompt, which is show a record with improvi improvised music. <clears throat> so my pick is Birth and Rebirth by Max Roach, featuring Anthony Braxton. Uh, Really a uh, great album, in my opinion, with Max Roach on drums and Anthony Braxton on reeds, uh, specifically alto, soprano, and sopranino saxophones and clarinet. Um, yeah, this, is, this came out in 1978 on the Black Saint label. And just wanna read this here it says the music in this album is a result of our belief in a continuum that links the present with the past our spontaneous improvisations are true to those well-defined principles basic to african-american culture thank you for listening max roach anthony braxton so 1978 on the uh, black saint label out of italy Black Saint label. And actually playing in the background is a performance of Max Roach and Anthony Braxton recorded the following year, 1979. This album came out in 1980. Um, but again, this is Improvisations by Max Roach, Anthony Braxton. I'm just going to let that play while we're we're going through these uh, prompts here from Alex. So moving to number two, show a rec record featuring a Moog synthesizer. Uh, so Michael Garrison in the regions of Sun Return from 1979. This is Michael Garrison's debut album. At least I believe it is. Um, it's on Windspell Records, which I think, uh, if I remember correctly, Michael Garrison, it's his label. Um, so yeah, lots of Moog on this album. Um, so electronic, a little, um, I'd kind of put it in the same, uh, category as like, uh, Jean Magel jar um and even tangerine to dream to an extent um but really good album melodic and um yeah lots of moog synthesizer on this so in the regions of sun return from 1979 by michael garrison okay next is show an album with field recording recordings. Uh, so from 1972, this is Walter Carlos Sonic Seasonings. Um, so Walter Carlos slash Wendy Carlos, um, pioneer of, of electronic synthesizer music. This is Sonic Seasonings from 1972, and 
uh, Walter Carlos dedicates a side to an album for each one of the seasons. Um, spring, fall, spring, uh, summer, fall, and winter. And on this album is uh, nature field recordings along with the music. Uh, let's see if I can find where it says here. Um, uh, it is an or oral tapestry created by the imagination and expertise of Water Carlos from impressionistic and expressionistic experiences of nature. It contains natural sounds recorded in quad as realistically as possible and subtly mixed with electronic and instrumental sound in an effort to create four evolving undulating cycles evocative of the moods of Earth's seasons. So this is a really, really great album. Um, this is on Columbia. So that's number two, uh, field recordings. So, uh, sorry, that was number three, field recordings. Okay, so show a record with a drone sound. Okay, this is uh, from uh, 2002, Peter Gabriel, his uh, soundtrack to the um, movie, The Rabbit Proof Fence. Uh, the album is called Long Walk Home. This is a very, um, very uh, organic, real, earthy, dirt sounding um, uh, music on here, on the entire album. And throughout the album, there's uh, these kind of drone sounds that come through. And uh, specifically the, the, the album on side, I mean, the song on side four called The Rabbit Proof Fence. It's a very short song, like a minute, minute and a half. And there's this real deep, uh, drone that kind of goes throughout it and it kind of comes in and out a little bit um but it's got this real like gruntle uh deep drone um yeah it's drone so uh that's going to be my response to this one uh very very good movie uh very very good uh, score from Peter Gabriel. It really fits the Australian out, outback, uh, dry, um, windy, uh, kind of, you know, dirt and mud. And uh, it just has that feel to it. Um, so I really enjoy it. But my response is the rabbit proof fence. <clears throat> okay. So next is show a record with spoken word. Um, so from 2021, uh, Bob Murray and their album, The Wind. This album opens and closes with um, some, uh, I guess it's French spoken word. And I think it's poetry. I'm not 100% sure. Um, it's not only spoken word. There's there's music uh, playing, but a really really beautiful, wonderful album by Rob Lowe and Michael Muller. Uh, Michael, member has made VC videos. Uh, hasn't done them in a while. Uh, I believe he's out recording and touring and doing stuff for Balmeray. Um, but really beautiful. And the opening track, Day Dawns in Your Right Eye, and the closing track, Night Falls in Your Left Eye. Um, both have French spoken word, spoken by Lily Kuzor. Um, really, really great. This is on uh, Deutsche Grammophon, if you can't see that there. Uh, definitely recommend this album. 
you're not familiar. Okay, next is show an album with processed a uh, uh, processed instrument or voice. Um, so I'm going with Annette Peacock. I'm the one. This is her solo debut album uh, from 1972. I haven't shown this on my channel yet. Um, stoked to f find this at my local record store. Um, it was a big want, but uh, on here she uses uh, she processes her voice through the Moog Moog synthesizer, and it makes uh, makes some very interesting experimental sounds. Um, so Annette Peacock avant garde um, experimental. Uh, I really enjoy her, especially this album and a couple of her others. This is on RCA Victor. So, processed vo processed voice through uh, through the Moog synthesizer. Great, great stuff. Um, number seven, show a record from an artist on the Nurse with Wound list. So I could have picked a whole bunch of artists, but I'd be remiss if I didn't show one of my absolute favorite bands, Tangerine Dream. This is their fourth, fourth? Yeah, fourth studio album. Uh, Atem or Adam, never known how to really pronunciate it. Uh, this is on the Or label. This is an original, original German pressing on the or label so this is an album on the nurse with wound list or group tangerine dream one of my favorite most favorite bands uh, this album came out in 1973 if I didn't mention that and last is show a record with a toy instrument on it. Now I couldn't specifically find a toy instrument being played on a record, but I found um, a toy <laughs> being used on the record. And this is Kraftwerk's Computer World. And they use, uh, in the beginning of the song Home Computer, I believe it's that song, um, Home Computer, yeah, pretty sure. They use the, uh, 19, the toy that was around in the 1980s, the Texas Instruments Speak and Sound, uh, where you'd type in the letters and make words and it would say it back to you. Um, They use the sound from that uh, toy on the opening of uh, Home Computer. So Kraftwerk, another great band. Um, so yeah, I did it. That is my response to the experimental vinyl tag. Um, Alex, thanks so much for putting this out there. Like I said, uh, I'm thrilled to see the response you've had for this uh, thread. Um, and yeah, so many great responses. Now I, I've been watching, <laughs> I've been watching the videos late at night on the television, so I haven't responded to many. But I'm gonna make a point to go back and uh, respond to those videos and let those people know how much I've enjoyed them. Um, and I'm gonna continue to watch the other responses. But that, for now, is my response. So, um, really enjoyed this. Um, so yeah, if you uh, feel so inclined, jump in and do this response, uh, the experimental vinyl tag. The questions are pretty, um, I think they're pretty accessible. So even if you're not very much into experimental music, you could somehow maybe answer them. Um, but that's going to do it for me. Thanks for watching, and I uh, hope to see you again real soon.
Everyone take care and I'll talk to you later. Bye now.